Combat's ferocity. Hitler's war machine has launched its blitzkrieg against Western Europe, pushing it to the brink. As we brace for our darkest hour, we must summon our strength to be the bulwark against oppression. The Nazi onslaught will be the greatest test we'll ever face. But with our allies, face it and defeat it, we must. endeavor, a struggle to preserve our civilization and to set free a suffering humanity. Our sons, pride of our nation, lead them straight to the crew. Their road will be long and hard. Men's souls will be shaken with the violences of war in this hour of great sacrifice. We shall prevail. Paul. It's June 6, 1944. Wish you could see this, brother. We're invading some frog beach I'm not supposed to even know the name of. Also, we can take back France from the Nazis. But the waiting's been half the battle. Today, with our allies, we embark on an operation of unparalleled importance to establish a beachhead at Normandy and roll back the German aggression that has terrorized Europe for the past five years. We are all that separates the world from darkness. This, so much more than a chance to be heroes in our own lifetimes. If we prevail, our triumph will be etched into the hearts and minds of a grateful world for untold generations. I'm talking about glory, gentlemen. True glory. Colonel Davis sure can't give a nice speech. His pep talk reminded me of the one Coach Johnson gave us on our Thanksgiving Day game versus Austin. I'm sure you remember we lost that game by 42 points. Always looking over Pearson's shoulders, Lieutenant Turner. He's got him on a tight leash. But if Pearson breaks free, we'll all get bit. Ever since I could hold a rifle, I wanted to be like you, Paul. You've always been a tough act to follow. But I'm damn sure gonna try. It's now or never. Hey, I wish I was coming home to her. Yeah, just wait till we hit Paris. Seems like a long way off. Remember, no digging in at the shore. You've gotta advance. You need to stay low and do not bunch up. Stick to your training, you're gonna make it through. I'm proud to lead you fellas in the battle. Anytime, anywhere. All right, give him hell, boys! The beaches are supposed to be flattened, right? Sounds scared, Private. No, sir! You should be. Daniel! Got a light? Sure thing. Everybody down!
down and keep moving! Take a Bangalore and get to the seawall! Daniel! This is what you trained for! Now pick up that banger! You can do this! Yes, sir! Oh, Jesus! Daniel! Use the banger! I'll cover you! After we breach, keep pushing towards the bunker! We're almost there! Fire in the hole! Okay, stay with me. Medic! I need morphine. You gotta hang on. Those girls in Paris are waiting for you. Really? Of course they are. I, I, how about, how about another look at your girl? Huh? You kidding me? It's okay. I can't, I can't see shit. I'm just gonna put a rest right, right here. No, no, no. You have to stay awake. Hey! Daniels! I'm here. Help me. I need a goddamn medic! I got this! Go! You'll take care of him. I need you with me, Daniels. Listen up! There's a GPF cannon by the farmhouse up the road. It's tearing up the beach. Let's move! We'll come back for you. Daniels. Man, I thought I'd seen everything. He gonna be all right? Yeah. He taped them up pretty good. Uh, should have stayed on the boat. Oh, now he tells us. Hey, what you did back there, I owe you. I say we're even. We'll see this through. To the end? To the end. Beachhead secured. We'll bivouac at the second hedgerow after the ridge. Welcome to the bloody first. You're a long way from Texas for him, boy. None of us could have prepared for that. But you came through when it counted. Thanks, sir. I, uh... You'll be all right, son. Thank you. Yes, sir. Of course, I will. Me and the fellas, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Not good enough for Pearson, but nothing is. Maybe I'll get home by Christmas with a couple medals on my chest. But first, we gotta take Marinier. Schmeling versus Lamada. Schmeling would have KO'd Lamada. No way. And Schmeling's a Nazi. I'd shoot him in a heartbeat. Now, they made him their poster boy. That guy didn't have a choice. We all got a choice. Mm, you know, Nietzsche said there was only oh, strong... That's enough mouth. All right. Uh, what about Lewis versus Sugar Ray Robinson? If we're talking 1938, Lewis Robinson wins hands down. Hey! Oh. Look who came back for more. I thought you were out another week. Not after I heard a bunch of tough SOBs were about to take Marinier. Yeah, well, playbook's working. At this rate, we'll be home by Christmas. Don't just stand there. Let's see. All right. Not bad, eh? Oh. Yeah, I've seen worse. Glad to have you back, Private. Good to be back, sir. All right, fellas. We got a unique opportunity here. This is our chance to break out of Normandy. It won't be easy. The hedgerows are heavily defended. We got reports of crowd armor in the area. But if we can hold and secure Marinier, we own the roadways. And if Zussman can take a knife in the gut and come out swinging, I like our odds just fine. I always bet on a winner, sir. For Turner, shielding us is his noble calling. Let's move. The war just has a habit of getting in the way. 
You know, a wound like this takes eight weeks to heal. I'm ready, Sergeant. You've got my word. Oh, your word. That don't mean shit to me. So you're good, huh? I'm just fine and dandy, sir. You got guts, Private. I just don't want to see him. Tanks rolling! Hang on tight, boys. It's gonna get rough. What else is new? I think Pearson likes you. Huh. Like a lion likes a steak. Let's go, let's go! Looks like you're holding up all right. Yeah, how about yourself? I couldn't let you guys have all the fun. Ah, uh, fun's not allowed under Pearson. You know why he's always riding you? Kasserine Pass. Lost my best friends there. Yeah, earned him an Article 15 and a demotion. He had to be a hard ass, and his men paid the price. Mission was Fubar, a massacre. Nazis had no mercy. Now we only survived because they didn't have time to seal the western exit. Almost lost everything thanks to that son of a bitch. But Turner still ain't over it. Matter of fact, he was the one who wrote him up. Pearson figures if he makes you a model platoon, you'll get it scrubbed. Only we're doing the scrubbing. <laughs> yeah, now you're getting it. It's why he's never gonna give up. He'd kill to have it removed. You know what I kill for? Decent grub. You just had supper. Hey, shit on a shingle doesn't count. Hey. How about barbecue, eh? They never stood a chance. I'm guessing no to the open casket. Yeah, that's somebody's son. Nah, it's a crowd. Uh, Daniels is right. They're not all bad. They did give us Kepler, Mozart. All right, college. Marlena Dietrich. See, that's more like. Don't forget about their inventions. You got the printing press, electron microscope. Frankfurters. You guys are killing me. You guys hear that? It's headed this way! Stukas, inbound! Mierda! Clear the tanks! Panzers! Alright, listen up. Charlie Company's under assault near the church. They need ammo and fire support. Send a squad immediately. Sir, we're already stretched pretty thin. Then stretch thinner! Yes, sir. Shit. We can take the Jeep, so we're gonna need armored support. Right, that's the plan. Perez! Pearson will follow you with the squad. Can't do it. Just got orders from Collins. We're heading west with the 11th. God damn it. Those boys are running out of time. You're on your own. Take the Jeeps and head out. Move! All right. Snap to it! Charlie's up shit creek and we're the paddle! Let's go! Let's go! A rally up! We gotta stop meeting like this. Why don't you be going soft on me, Murphy? Well, thanks for showing up when you did. Thank Captain Davis. It was his orders. Okay. It's too late to press on. It looks like you boys got a reprieve. Excuse me, Sergeant? Yeah? Isn't half the crowd army on the other side of those buildings? Shouldn't we find a better place to set up a perimeter? Sure, Private. Why don't you book us a room at the Ritz? Sir. He's scared as all. Why don't you worry about your own problems? Like how that side is gonna hold up tomorrow. I'm right as rain, Sergeant. Daniels, why don't you watch him? The only thing more dangerous than the enemy is pride. Rest up, boys. We take Marinier at first light. Same dream, huh? Pretty much. Can't seem to shake it. I'm good now. You get some rest. No. I have to show Pearson I'm ready. I don't care what he says. You ain't got nothing to prove.
Yeah, well, I'm tired of taking your shit. Back home, you want to settle something? You do it head on. It's the only way to earn respect. I understand that. Believe me, a man has to fight his own battles. But respect don't mean a lot if you get yourself killed. Just glad you got my back. Besides, good old St. Michael's watching over us. So we got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Didn't realize you guys believed in that stuff. I'll take all the help I can get. So are you gonna tell me about that dream, or what? Wolves had been killing our cattle. Me and my older brother Paul were hunting them when we got cornered. Red! Red, take the shot! I'm trying, I'm trying! You all right? Uh, I'm sorry, Paul. Listen good, kid. It's only natural to be scared. We need to head home, baby brother. From that day on, I swore I'd never let Paul down again. But now it's not just him I gotta live up to. It's Pearson. Something big's happening. Gotta be. Davis is here. We received intelligence from the Resistance about a German train carrying V-2 rockets for an attack on Paris, refueling near Argentan. That gives us just enough time to move our team into position. It must be stopped. You proved yourselves in Marinier, which is why you'll get the opportunity and the privilege. Thank you, sir, but it seems like a job for more than one platoon. That's why I'm teaming you up with the SOE. like you two caught a bit of it. Don't worry, Lieutenant. We saved some for you. Agents Vivian and Crowley will lead the operation. They've been working with the Resistance for months and know the terrain well. We'll defer to them. We heard about Marigny. Impressive. I can't take all the credit. Just doing our job. And a fine job it was, but a warm-up, I'm afraid. Look, this is no ordinary German supply train. It's a fortress on wheels. A liaison in the Resistance, Rousseau, will provide support if possible, but attacks on their network could mean we're on our own. The fate of Paris is in your hands. Reminds me of the time we parachuted into Vercourt, ambushed that Gestapo patrol. You're just an old romantic. All right, there's our target. Well, you gotta give those crowds some credit. Mm. Train's right on time. <laughs> Biggest train I've ever seen. Thickest armor, too. It's a Panzerzug. Those V2s have a range of 200 miles, more than enough to hit Paris. We can't let it reach the launch site. Shh, shh, shh. Enemy movement up ahead. All right, Vivian, I'll take them out. Turn that, that'll be your signal to advance. Daniels, since you and Justin were so gung-ho at Marinier, you'll provide them with fire support. Come on, all right, let's go. Shit! Shit! Daniels, get up! Everyone in the jeep, now! <laughs> Holy shit, did that just happen? Can't believe we made it. That's one for the books. I hope Styles had his camera. Pearson might even get off our asses for five damn minutes. Look out! 
Follow me. I'll take you to your platoon. I'm sorry. Who the hell are you? A friend. No hurry. <coughs> I believe these men belong to you. I see you've met Rousseau. She's with the Marquis, French Resistance. She killed a crowd that was gunning for us. You could at least try to capture and interrogate them first. There would be more trouble than there were. I thought we lost you. Looks like you did some damage. The train was supposed to be stopped, not destroyed. Yeah, I'm sorry that uh, things didn't go exactly as planned, but on the bright side, we've just alerted every goddamn German outpost in the whole area, so we gotta get moving. Come on. Not until we finish the mission. Isn't that right, Major? We'll need your help in securing Don't know how, but Zuss and I survived wrecking that train long enough to find ourselves rendezvousing with a tough French gal. Goes by Rousseau. She's a member of the Resistance, and if you can believe it, she made us paw through the wreckage for some papers. She needed them for a mission in Paris, and she had a job for us, too. It's been a week since we took out that train. Our platoon's in the middle of Paris, working with the Resistance. Rousseau and Crowley have a plan to sabotage the occupation, and that means striking at its heart. Using the documents we obtained from the train, Rousseau and I will pose as Nazi officers to infiltrate the garrison. This way, gentlemen. The garrison is run by SS and Polizeiführer Heinrich. And he couldn't find me. He came for my parents. And my husband. And finally, my son. Tonight, everything we've lost, everything we fought for, will mean something. Tonight, we take back our city. The garrison, our contact there will supply us with explosives. And when we blow the gates, that'll be your signal to approach. We're counting on you. All right, boys, let's get ready. These crowds ain't gonna give up easy. <laughs> I figure we can survive Pearson, we can survive anything. I fought alongside him with Kasserine. We should all be so brave. It won't be long now, mes amis. But first, we enter the wolf's den. See you there. One more checkpoint. Soon this nightmare will be over. If you're stopped, the cover story must be ironclad. Let's go for it again. You are Gerda Schneider, a military attaché. You were sent by Herr Spiegel and foreign intelligence to arrange for Heinrich's safe evacuation to Berlin. Take some time to review the dossier. This is our one chance. Recruiting our inside man came at a terrible price. You ought to find him and exchange your briefcase with his. Hopefully, he's obtained the explosives we'll need to blow the gates. You worry too much, Major. That's my job. I'll meet you in front of the garrison when the operation is complete. Who sent you? Herr Spiegel. Good. Whatever happens, once you make the trade, you must maintain possession of the briefcase at all times. I've come this far. I'll be damn sure I'm going to finish it. Bitte sehr. Ich habe Sie hier noch nie gesehen. Was ist der Grund Ihres Besuchs? Ich habe Reisedokumente für Polizeiführer Heinrich. Ich wurde darüber nicht informiert. Aber Ihre Papiere scheinen in Ordnung zu sein. Sie können weiter, Fräulein Schneider. Ich habe Sie noch nie gesehen. Darf ich fragen, was Sie an meinem Fenster zu suchen haben? Verzeihung, Herr Kommandant. Ich wollte gerade nur etwas frische Luft schnappen. Ich bin Gerda Schneider. Ich komme aus Berlin, um Ihnen Ihre Reisepapiere zu bringen. 
Fräulein Schneider. Ich habe auf Ihren Auslandsstudium gehört. Es war in Cambridge, oder? Ja, das ist richtig. Wenn es Ihnen jetzt recht ist, kann ich Ihnen Ihre Reisepapiere zeigen. Da kommen wir nach sich. Vielen Dank. Danken mir sehr noch nicht. Fräulein Schneider. Oh, now, if you will indulge me, perhaps we can converse in English, as you know, I'm sure practice makes perfect. Bitte. Nehmen Sie das Blatt. Have a seat. So, Herr Gruber sent you to arrange for my departure. I am flattered. Was Herr Commander Spiegel? <laughs> Sehr gut. Very good. <laughs> One cannot be too careful these days. <laughs> you look so serious. Let us drink. For my return to the fatherland. The French deserve each other. <laughs> but my God! I will miss the cuisine. Take the ortolan. That tiny, delicate songbird. Its eyes poked out so that it can gorge. And then it's drowned in cognac. It's ingenious. I'm not sure what I will miss more. Savoring the sweet flesh or watching it thrash to death. Hmm? But there is one thing of which I am certain. Watching your son flail as he drowned under my boot gave me the greatest pleasure of all. This is for my comrades. This is for my son. For me, vive la resistance. Outstanding work, boys. Outstanding. We did it. The ghost forces are entering the city. Looks like we might get that champagne and caviar after all. Hey, Daniels, you still think there's a young gal looking for a handsome GI? Sorry, buddy. That was just a boost of morale. Now he tells me. City of Lights. Finally. Something to celebrate, eh, Crowley? There's no turning back. France has reclaimed Paris. No, this ain't exactly over yet. War's not done. Now come on, Pierce, and let them have this. That's what Turner's for. We thought with the liberation of Paris, we'd be one step closer to home. But our troubles are just beginning. We're fighting in the city now, Aachen. The crowd's got a death grip on it, and for good reason. We're drilling a hole clear through their western border. Davis has us going block by block, house by house. Knock them all down, he calls it. Turner and Pearson, I ain't seen eye to eye since we got here. Grind's taking a toll on us all. Time for more beans and bullets. If I tell you to do it, it is the goddamn mission! Hey, pick up the pace! We gotta hit CP by nightfall. Hey, I'm just lying around. From your girl. Thought I told you not to go through my things. What kind of chump doesn't open a sugar report? 
Uh, the kind who thinks it's a dear John. See the address? She wrote Daniels, not Red. Only one reason to be so formal. Hate to say it, I think she's cutting you loose. Or hey, maybe it's like Schrodinger's letter. You know, you don't open it, she's still your girl. Ow, maybe you said Schrodinger's letter. What? What's wrong with you? Quit screwing around! We hit the State Theater at 0730 tomorrow. Everybody's got their limits. Everybody. True or not, Hazel, I gotta believe you still love me if I'm gonna stay strong. Let's go, let's go! Come on, Daniels! Daniels! I got you! Keep your head down! God damn it! We keep crushing them and they keep coming back! We can't hold the plasma much longer! The artillery's on its way, they're saying 10 minutes top! Might as well be 10 hours! Lieutenant Turner, we need tanks for The now. tanks are covering our flank! Everybody pipe down and let me think, God so damn it! We don't have time to think! Alright, Daniel! You and I have to go with Pearson and call it in! Move! Alright, let's go! Daniel! Here you go, Sarge! A Dagwood White 27, a villain! We're drawing fire! Requesting immediate support to phase line two, over. Copy that, but we'll be leaving our flank exposed. All right, over. just get your asses here as soon as you can. Understood, working on it, over. And make it quick, these packs are tearing us apart. Over and out. All right, boys, we're rerouting to the Stat Theater. The first platoon needs us. Enemy dispositions unknown. Switching to radio and intercom. Radio master on. Rapson, we're taking a right to cut back to the theater. Right ahead. Roger that, Perez. Fill into Dagwood White 27. Plaza is clear. Repeat, Plaza is clear. Appreciate this, sis, sir. Dagwood White out. All right, Perez is going to hold position at the theater to cover our flank. We need to push toward the Hotel Allendorf without armor support. Let's move! All right, let's do this. Lights on. Sounds like a kid. Daniels, you still got that chocolate bar? Yes, sir. Bet y'all are hungry. Go home. Take it. Anna! Whoa, 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 whoa! It's all right! It's all right! We're not gonna hurt you. We're not gonna hurt you. No food. M my sister. Please. Help us. No, no, no. Kraut reinforcements will be here any minute. We don't have time to be babysitting civilians. There's only two of them. Sir, you better come see this. Ah. <laughs> Just perfect. Shit. We passed that truck a few hundred yards back. We can drive it here and we can get them all out. With all due respect, our mission was to secure this hotel. Sagen Sie, wir haben Verwundete. Die werden es nicht schaffen. Ich I don't Sie speak. Ich spreche es falsch Deutsch. Keine Sorge, alles wird gut. You speak German? When the hell were you going to tell us that? It wasn't. All right, we're going to get these people out of here. Daniels, Aiello. You take that truck, rendezvous with us on the west side of the hotel. Get moving. <laughs> Makes me wonder what else you've been hiding from us, Harris Usman. Cut me some slack, Sergeant. Yeah, not on your life, Private. Not on your life. I think they might be regrouping on the north side. You gotta let the squad know. We gotta get these folks out fast. That or dig in. Too risky. We don't want them caught in the crossfire. A little late for that. Just hurry. Pearson's right, Daniels. We don't have time to worry about these people. They're civilians. They need our help. Drive through and park it on the street. Yes, Sergeant. All right, get the civilians out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sir, we got to move. Reinforcements are on the way. Anna! Oh, hold on, where are you going? What's she saying? She thinks your sister went back to the basement. Well, then that's where she's staying. We got to get these people out of here. Come on, Lieutenant. Let me Nobody's go. going. You got two minutes. I'm going with you. Nope, just Daniel. It's too dangerous. I need everyone here to cover the perimeter. 
Yes, sir. You get back here fast. Will do, sir. Shit! Scheiße! Uh. Hey, kiddo. Come on. Let's get you back to your sis. I have Kasper gefunden. Come here. You can't stay in common. Anna! Thank you. Mama gesagt, ich soll mich um Kasper kümmern. They come not back. Okay, they can take it from here. Let's go. We're escorting them and that's final. Pierce is right, sir. If we go with them, chances are they'll draw fire. Seems like a risky move. Private Sussman, we are clearing this street and then getting them out. Understood? I understand, sir. I just think they might be safer on their own. And if we let the Germans reoccupy this hotel, every squad that comes through here will be in danger. This isn't Kasserine. We have the upper hand. Get them on the truck. It's your show. They shot up the truck! Erika! She's gone! Go on! Go! What the hell are you doing? Following orders! Everyone back to the hotel! Move! 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 Hey, there's nothing we can do. Your orders were to take the hotel, not evacuate civilians. Who decided this was a rescue op? We thought there was time, sir. Last time I checked, Turner was in charge, not you. Is he making the calls now? No, sir. It was my call. It's on me. It's on both of us. Yeah, well, right now, the last thing I should be worried about is if two of my best men can follow orders when we're on the verge of the biggest operation of the entire war. Let me remind you, this is the spearhead of our final drive to the Rhine. Got a whole damn forest to clear so the convoy can get through. So from this point on, I'll accept nothing less than your best. Now get your insubordinate asses ready to move out. It's been three weeks. We're in the Hurricane Forest now, clearing it so the convoy can get to the Rhine. I'm not proud to admit it's taken me this long to open your letter. If it's over, we're here for you, pal. I tried to warn you. College, let the man speak. She's pregnant. Whoa! <laughs> hey, that's huge! All right, Daniels is gonna be a daddy. Yeah. She was trying to let me know, but I wasn't ready to hear it. All right. I could use another cup of Joe. Come on, you mooks, let's give him some space. But I don't want coffee. Sure you do. I'm sorry I waited to tell you about the baby. I tried to the day you were shipping out. The day you took my picture. Everyone gather around. Where's Daniels? Davis is talking. Come on. Uh, on my way. The Hurkin? is dark and nearly impenetrable. Our mission is to take Hill 493. Whoever holds the hill dominates the valley. Now, for lesser men, this task might seem insurmountable, but our division boasts a proud history of firsts. In World War I, we were first to hold off a German attack, first to launch a counteroffensive, first across the Rhine. Nothing has ever stopped us, and nothing ever will. Lieutenant, tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. I can't hear you. 
No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. That's right. Now get ready to move out. Duty first. Back to the old meat grinder. Amen, brother. We move out in five. We're gonna split into two teams. Pearson, you'll head north over the bridge to reach the hill. I'll follow the river with a squad to guard your advance. Assembly point will be the base of Hill 493. See you soon. Yeah, you be careful out there. Yeah, you too. We hold this position until Pearson gets here, then we take the hill together. Unless he bypassed the mill and went for it himself. He doesn't have the manpower. <laughs> it's never stopped him before. Said we wait here, and that's what we're gonna do. No disrespect, sir. But what if Styles is right and Pearson did go ahead? You let me worry about that, Daniels. My gut tells me something's off. If I made decisions based on your gut private, we'd still be on the boat at Normandy. Exactly. You heard how Pearson's platoon got wiped out at Kasserine? Looks like history's repeating itself. It better not. Huh. I want to know what really happened there. Yeah. Well, I don't have the guts to ask Turner. But I know someone who does. Can you read me? Over. If you don't mind me saying, sir, maybe we should head to the assembly point. Not yet. Pearson will get here. Sir. Is it true about Pearson getting those men killed at the Kazarine Pass? One day, Daniels, when you're leading your own platoon, you find out there's usually two options. Bad and worse. Would you focus on your men? Because that's what'll get you through. Tell that to Pearson. Sergeant Pearson. You just pray you're never in that position. Lieutenant! Just got a transmission from Baker. They're gonna assault Hill 493. Pearson's with him. What? He took our guys and second platoon. Gear up! Let's move! <laughs> Keep up! Let's go! Let's go! Maybe Pierce is still at the base of the hill. I'm guessing we're way past that. Keep moving, goddammit! Uh, sounds like our guys! Daniels! You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Where's the rest? Pierce took them to attack the guns. We begged for reinforcements. Stubborn son of a bitch. We'll come back for you. Hurry! They need us! How many casualties? We executed the mission. How many? Our instructions were to take this hill. You should have waited for there us. There wasn't time. What about our... We men? had orders. <clears throat> the hell with our goddamn orders. Do you think I wanted any of this? We are cogs in the machine, Joseph. We start going our own way, the whole thing breaks down. When did you forget that? These are men. Our men. When did you forget? Those 150s are still firing on our position. Keep moving. We're taking them out. Leave me! I got you! 
Sacrifice too great. Go. Fall back! Soldier! Move! Move! Fall back! Get Move! 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 Sir, I thought you might like this. You thought wrong. You see, we're in a whole new world, Daniels. My world. And you can bet your ass that I will not shrink or waver from my responsibilities in any way. So I'm making you my second. And you will support me 1,000%. And you'll make damn certain that all those men do the same. Anything less, I will consider a dereliction. Now get out of my sight. With Turner gone, we lost our protector. Paul, all I wanted was to come home a hero. Now that Pearson's in charge, I may not come home at all. Merry Christmas, Turner. Oh, and Turner. Pearson made farm boy over here a corporal. I wonder what you think of that. Probably that you're the same old sack of shit, Aiello. This ain't the time. To Turner. 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 Turner! Lucky son of a bitch. You're always first. All right. Keep eyeballing me. Yeah, I get your jollies tonight, boys, because tomorrow when that convoy comes through, you're gonna be on the front line defending it. And Turner's not gonna be there. Easy! Easy. You're corporal now, huh? You know, see how fucking easy it is. Go. On. Give me an excuse. Yeah, that's what I thought. Six years I served with that man. Six. Merry fucking Christmas. Convoy's coming through, and it's up to us to make sure it gets to the Rhine. Now all we gotta do is survive the cold and Pearson. What's up, bitte? What's he want? Wasser, bitte. Here. God damn it, what are you doing with us? Lay off, Sergeant. What's that? Huh? How's that, huh? How's that work for you? Much better. Son of a bitch. Hey, Sergeant. Hey, you stay out of this. Oh. Hey, stop! He's not worth it. 
Daniels! Don't cry out. Why'd you run? You must be hiding something. Son of a bitch was holding out on us. Give me that. The fuck's this say? These are orders to plant explosives on the bridge in Raymagen. Ordnance is gonna be loaded onto trucks five miles north of here. If I'm reading this right, it's the last bridge standing across the Rhine. Well, ain't that something, Fritz? <laughs> This is bad. Jewish POWs, don't get off me, see? Stay calm, it'll be okay. It was close. You okay? They captured Zussman. I'm sorry about your buddy, but we need to hit that last truck now. No. No, you're not going anywhere. Dustman was captured. Yes, he comes first. I can't leave him. I'm on the search for workers. I'm going to inspect them. Die und separat. Lose the tags. Lose them. They're after Jews. Where are the Juden? The Juden. Where are the Juden? Frag me, stop, du Nazi, du Scheiße. Du sprichst Deutsch. Ausgezeichnet. Welche sind die Juden? Fick Dick. Zeig sie mir. We're Americans, period. Was hast du dir alle ausgezogen? Wohin bringst ihr uns? Ihr seid zum Arbeiten hergekommen und das werdet ihr auch tun! It's been eight weeks since Sussman was captured. I'm trying not to lose hope. Sir, tell me they found Zussman. I wish I could, son. Pearson didn't give a damn about him. Just like his men at Kasserine. Kasserine? You got it all wrong, Private. Pearson was ordered to retreat. Some of his men were trapped in the pass. Couldn't bring himself to fall back without them. But he ended up just losing more trying to save him. It's never been the same. But you don't need to worry about Pearson. You're headed stateside. Am I looking at a court-martial, sir? Wouldn't reflect too good on the army to punish the soldier who accelerated the whole damn war effort. That's right. The intelligence you found on that prisoner was critical in locating the last bridge across the Rhine. Might even be a bronze star in your future. You're a bona fide hero. Welcome home, Red.
from this moment on, I am not letting you out of my sight. You understand me, Corporal? Yes, ma'am. You all right there, Red? We're gonna talk or we're gonna hunt. You should be proud. You ruled your fear, you held your own. Nothing more you can ask of a man. It's the best feeling in the world, ain't it? Facing down hell and coming home a bona fide hero. Red? You're a bona fide hero. To the end. To the end. I want nothing more than to be with Hazel when our baby arrives. But I gotta convince Pearson to let me back in the fight. I'm doing it to find Zuss, cause he'd do the same for me. If I don't make it home, well, just watch over him, Paul. Oh, oh. What are you doing here? What's it look like? Suicide. Hey, I wouldn't go in there. Pearson's been hitting the sauce. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm not giving up on Zussman. Tell it to the chaplain, because I got no room for a second. Who can't follow orders? You weren't following orders when you refused to abandon those boys at Kazarain. What did you just say to me? You heard me. You better leave while you can still walk. Davis told me it wasn't your fault. You were only trying to do right by your platoon. Get out! Get out! I'm not going anywhere. I said get out! Uh, 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 God damn it! My orders were to fall back. But I just couldn't leave them. I told my men we were gonna hold this pass. Until reinforcements got here, but they never came. They never came. So I guess you're right. I did get my men killed. No go. Not without my platoon. <sighs> you think you got some guts, don't you? Try getting the job done day in and day out while your men are dying all around you. Turner would have never given up like Turner this. Turner is dead. Then make that mean something. No sacrifice too great. You don't know anything about sacrifice. How about this? Honorable discharge papers signed by Davis. My ticket home. I could have had everything. A hero's welcome. My girl in my arms. Hell, even a bronze star. But I got one last mission. You must be crazy. Crazy ain't the half of it. I fall in. Sergeant? I said fall in, goddammit. If you want in, now's the time. Get the fuck out of my way. Well, I guess the gang's all here. Not all of us. Let's take that bridge and find our boy. Yes, Corporal. If Zussman's alive, he's across that bridge. We just gotta take it first. 
But there she is, the last bridge over the Rhine. If we get this convoy across, we're in the heartland. We'll bust them open. Look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Oh. Hold back! Oh. Bridge is ours. Corporal Howard. I believe I owe you an apology. You owe me a hell of a lot more than that. Come on through. You just made history, fellas. Worst across the road. What you looking at, Fritz? There are reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. But I guess you know what to do with Davis's orders. Copy that, Sergeant. All right. Proud our platoon held the first bridgehead on the Rhine. Now our convoy's rolling into the heart of Germany. They say war's as good as won. Not to me. Not while Zuss is out there. After leaving the bridge on our mission east, we searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. But one thing's for certain. What I saw will stay with me forever. Survivors said that the other POWs including Zussman, had been taken to a smaller camp three hours east. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. <clears throat> Last one. This looks more like a labor camp. Daniels, you gotta see this. Tracks lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched them. And that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made a promise to Zussman. We'll find him. I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. Sergeant, I'll take point. Zussman! Red! Red, take the shot! Everything's coming full circle. All I've done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. Paul! You died right there in the snow. All because I couldn't. Couldn't. Red, take the shot! Take the shot! Take the shot! Take the shot! Is it over? You must be dreaming. What they do? Plot. You were left behind. Yeah, I'm gonna die alone out here. Drink some. Easy now. Okay, come on, let's get on here. Into the Jeep, come on. General, General, General. You always looked out for me, Paul. And I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march. And that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. 
From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Trust me, wanted you to have it. And yeah, you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> oh, you gonna be okay? Gotta say about his husband. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. Will you take care of farm boy? I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> crazy ain't the half of it. If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome any time. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. To the end. To the end. The dream was different last night. This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves paw. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me.